Week 33, day one. The quality this week is leadership. You know, the one, one of the things that, that we are so guilty of, uh, not only in education, but in every facet of life, is we are always trying to solve the symptoms, and so we never solve the problem. The we, we complain about stealing. If you get caught stealing, we're going to kick you off the team. We're going to put you in jail. Uh, stealing is not a problem. Stealing is a symptom of a problem. The problem is that you're so selfish, you really don't care about anybody but yourself. You steal from other people because you don't care about them. You could care less. You're the most selfish person there is. A thief is without a doubt the most selfish human being on this earth. We complain constantly in the schools about bullying. Bullying is not a problem. Bullying is simply a system, a, sympt a symptom. I'll get it right here in just a second, hang with me. <laughs> is a symptom of a lack of compassion. People that don't have compassion for other people bully them if that person is not as big as you are, or if they're a different color or a different religion, or if their personalities are different, or if their interests and uh, hobbies and everything are completely different, instead of having compassion for someone, you bully. And so what we do is we work really, 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 really hard to work on these symptoms. We're gonna kick you off the team for stealing. No, you got kicked off the team because you're selfish. And if you're stealing, that, that lends me to, to know that you don't care about anybody but yourself. So team, what well, team is irrelevant to you. If you're bullying someone, you have no compassion. You don't care about anyone. And you're, you're going to try to demean anybody that you don't think is as good as you are. So bullying is that. Well, that goes to this week's quality, which is leadership. Albert Einstein said that example is not the best way to teach. Example is the only way to teach. Well, if I can substitute leadership, Example is not the best way to lead. Example is the only way to lead. Nobody cares about what you say. What you do is so loud, I can't hear what you say. So the leaders, the positive leaders, are they going to be the ones that set the positive examples. Now, you hear this all the time. We didn't have any leaders on our team, or we don't have any leaders in our company or we don't have any leaders in the church, or we, we. everybody is a leader. They may be negative leaders, but they are leaders. The leadership definition is the ability to get someone to perform. If you get someone to perform in a negative way, you're a negative leader. Someone to perform in a positive way, you're a positive leader. Leaders, as Rick Patino says, are only effective when they effectively lead the people that they are in charge of. More to the point, leaders are only successful when the people they lead are successful. Now, he's talking about positive leaders. A, po a positive leader is only successful when the people with them are successful. A, a great example are geese. You know, we talked a lot about the squirrels and the su success instinct as far as gathering nuts in the summer for a winter they've never had. And that's the success instinct that's within them. Great example. Geese are maybe the best example there are for leadership. If you ever notice when geese are flying that they're flying in a V. Well, well the, ge the, the, lead ge the lead goose is taking more of the wind than anyone else is. But he switches every so often. And before they end up wherever they're going, 
everybody in that V formation has taken their turn at the front. They share the misery. And, and I believe, in my opinion, that is maybe one of the most powerful things that you can do. You share the misery. That's being a great leader. When I coached, we, we used to sit down at the whiteboard at the beginning of the season, and I would say, okay, somebody's got to do laundry, and we would list all the things. Because, see, football coaching or coaching anything is a whole lot more than Friday nights, and that's what the people see, and that's what they think you do. Football coaching and great leadership is sharing the misery. Somebody's got to do the laundry. somebody got to take care of equipment. somebody got to check the equipment out. somebody got to write the scouting report. somebody got to take notes at the meetings. Everybody's got to do something. It's sharing the misery. And it always amazed me we would put those up on the board, and I would say, okay, somebody's got to do these, so who wants to do them? And people volunteered for them. We had a guy that uh, the last place I coached for four years, he did the laundry. Never complained once. Did a great, great, great job. Nobody wanted to do laundry. You share the misery. That's good leadership. That's what the geese do. They share the misery of being at the front and getting that wind hitting them all the time and then switching places and being in the back. The second lesson that you can really learn from geese, if one of them gets injured or hurt, and goes down into a pond. One or two of the other geese will stay there with him until he either dies or gets well and they can get up and go again. Great leadership, that's having empathy for the people that you lead. What a, what a great example. If somebody goes down, if somebody fumbles a football, what does a great leader do? He doesn't yell at him or, and try to down him or anything like that. You know, he goes to him and says, hey, you okay? Let's go. We, we still need you to win this game. You hang on to that football. Squeeze the ball. But he doesn't start berating him and demeaning him. That's not leadership. Leadership ill-defined is I'm the boss. Do you know I'm the boss? I'm the boss. Do you know I'm the boss? And there's so many head coaches and athletic directors and superintendents that the minute they become a leader uh, in, in name only, they become, I'm the boss. You know I'm the boss? I'm the boss. Everybody know I'm the boss? And that's it. And that's the stupidest thing you can do. You don't want to be one of those that the only thing that they care about is the authority. Because once you do that, you're going to find out that the people are never going to work for you. And when you go down in that swamp, there ain't nobody going to come down there and help you. If you don't go down in that swamp and help them when they're down, don't expect them to go down and help you. You got the goals to write. And we need leaders, positive leaders, to write three goals. And you lead by example. Write down three goals and tell your friends, here's what I'm going to do this week. Here, here's my three goals, and share them with other people. Be a positive leader, not a negative leader. Make it a great day.